Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Regular viewers will know that I'm going on holiday in December and part of that holiday is a cruise or it's actually called a voyage. I guess cruise is where you stop in places, voyages point to point. Um, a voyage back across the Atlantic from New York to Southampton, a seven day trip um, on the Queen Mary 2. And I've never been on a cruise as a passenger before. I'm very excited about it. I've talked about it a bit in videos before. And it's quite dressy in the evenings. There's seven nights, and out of those seven nights, we have three formal nights and four less formal nights. But ladies still dress up, I gather, on the less formal nights. And my wardrobe just didn't cater to this sort of activity. So I've been um, asked on Instagram last week uh, for recommendations of where to look online to buy plus size, I'm a size 20 approximately, um, evening wear for ladies of a certain age, for so age appropriate, I think I used the expression. Um, and lots of you came back with suggestions and my favorite one that I looked, I've looked at all of them and I found various things, but I decided that the best place to order from was ASOS because they stock loads of different brands. And um, this arrived yesterday. Now, for reasons too complicated and tedious to bore you with, I ended up doing two separate orders. One's arrived already and the other one's coming later in the week. But because I ordered so many different dresses, I decided to, with the idea that I was going to try on and decide what I liked best and send the rest back, um, I thought I'd do them in two separate videos. Um, I didn't know if I was going to do a video. Sorry, I've just noticed I've got dust all over me. Builder's dust. I've got mirror hair. And I've just seen something all over my top. I don't know if you can see it or not. But builders are still here. So, um, yeah. Where was I? Yeah, so I ended up doing two separate orders. So I thought I'd do it in two separate videos. Otherwise, it would be the longest video in Christendom. And several of you guys have expressed a desire to see all the evening dresses that I'm trying on. So also, of course, I really value your opinion. You've been so helpful with my try on videos this year with telling me what I look nice in and encouraging me to wear things a little bit out of my comfort zone and discovering that I actually look nice in things that I wouldn't have tried before. So I do value very much. Um, it's like having a whole bunch of girlfriends who to give you their honest feedback on what you look like, which is nice. Don't be too honest though, not too honest. No, I'm joking. Um, so as I said, I've ordered all sorts of different styles just to see what I feel nice in. I'm not sure about myself in dresses still. It's quite a new thing for me. So I've, just, I've gone for lots of different styles to see what I feel best and most comfortable in. I've just opened the package. There's only five in there. I thought I'd ordered six, but perhaps there was only five in that order. I can't remember. And I've ordered all sorts of different price points as well. I really like ASOS. I've not shopped very much on ASOS before, but um, they stock loads and loads of different brands and their plus size range is excellent. Loads of choice, so that's nice. Anyway, I'm going to put the prices up on the screen because they're not on the paperwork I've got and I can't walk through the building site again to get to the office and print it out. So um, I'll put the prices up on the screen for you with a picture of the dresses. So the first one this was one of the more expensive ones I think I don't think I ordered anything over a hundred pounds so I, I've got a feeling this was like um 85 or something and this is by Maya Maya Deluxe um, and it's listed as a bridesmaid's dress this I really like this sort of grey colour I think they called it um mi microchip or something the colour but I really like it sort of a silvery Silver sequins on the top with a v-neck. I like a v-neck. It's got a sleeve, which I like. I think sleeves are very flattering on us older ladies. And um, a net skirt. It is full length. I don't feel like I look my best in full length dresses. Um, it's also got a zip up the back and there's no one else in the house other than the builder to zip me up. So we'll have to see how we get on with that. But um, I don't know if I like myself in long dresses. I think with being quite short, they can tend to swamp me. I prefer, I think I look better personally in something mid-calf. Not sure what I think about it. I quite like it. Um, again, it's way, way, way too long. Let me tip you down. So also, oh God, I just stepped on the skirt. We've got the sun to contend with as well, which is less than ideal. Let me see if I can turn you that way a little. Not complaining about the sun, obviously. But as you can see, 
this is long it, I mean this is both the lining and the top layer are six inches too long I would say I quite like the top I haven't managed to get the zip all the way up but I have done the hook at the top um, I like the sleeves I can't see myself in the mirror now let me sorry tech issues yeah, if I entertained keeping this, I would obviously need to get it shortened, which adds to the expense. And I think it's already nearly £100, this dress. So I don't, it almost feels a little bit big. I feel like I've ordered all the dresses in a 20. Because I did the ASOS have a thing. Let me just come a bit closer to you. ASOS have a thing. There we are, you can see my head again. Um, on their website where you put in your height and your weight and your age and all that sort of things and the shape of your body and it tells you what size you should order so I've ordered everything in a 20 but I have to say this feels almost as though I could have sized down um, uh, let me do the side view for you um, I don't hate myself from the side my side I feel like is my worst um, aspect but I don't hate myself from the side but yeah I almost feel like I could have got that in a 18 and it would have just be this bit needs to be more fitted I think um but the length is probably the issue that I, I don't know I'm torn with this let me know what you think I'm going head in from the most expensive to the cheapest um this was £20. I absolutely fell in love with this colour and I thought this might be suitable for one of the less formal nights. That's what, the, what I had in mind for this. It's from the Boohoo Curve range. Again, it's a 20. I like the fact it's got a sleeve. I quite like the top. I like the V-neck thing. Looking at it, I'm thinking it might be a little bit short. I'd like it to hit below the knee. It looked as though it was going to in the photo. So let's see how we get on with this. This one I feel much more positive about. Please excuse my bra straps. I will be investing in a decent strapless bra should I purchase dresses that need one. And this one would be a dress that needed one. Um, I've also got a little camisole on underneath as well. Also excuse this, it's a hair clip which I've put on just to hold it together where it wraps. Um, let me do that. I feel like this accentuates the good bits and Ignore and um, doesn't accentuate the bad bits. Um, I feel like I look a lot slimmer in this. I've got a little fat bit here, but I can live without that. I really like that it's cut so it doesn't ride up at the back. It's the right length. Um, talking of length, it's um, same length all the way round, which is great. It's a plus size issue um, that when you've got a large bottom, dresses tend to ride up at the back so they're shorter. But obviously, this is from the plus range, so it's. Um, cut for a lady with a larger bottom um i love the color i think the color suits me i feel like this is a nice color um, i like the tight belt um this would be easy just to pin the issue up here um i was talking about wonder bras well, uh, bras wasn't i and i've been looking into this and i think wonder bra is the best for larger or is highly recommended for larger busts type of thing so i'm going to buy myself a wonder bra i think um I feel like this just flatters in the right places. I really like the length that's just below the knee. I think this is a great length on me for my height. I really like it. 20 pounds this dress is. Next we have this, which looked very elegant on the website. It's not kind of the material I was expecting. It's a very finely pleated material. I don't know if you can see that. And it's really quite see-through. See what I mean? Um, it's got a long sleeve, it's got a tie belt, it's wrap style, although but the top is v-neck, it's like a fake wrap type of thing. Um, sort of mid-calf, again I thought this might be nice for one of the less formal nights, I do love black but slightly concerned about the level of see-throughness but um, I quite like this one as well. feel again like it's quite flattering. Um, love the length mid calf i love the color the sparkliness i do kind of wish it had a three-quarter sleeve i'm not particularly good with long sleeves um that would be my one thing that i would prefer um so i tend to pull them up like that 
got a tie belt which I like again a little bit fat here but that's what I look like isn't it um, again it's nice from the side I feel like it minimizes my bottom this one more so um, I like the neckline I like the style this one I feel quite elegant in this I feel quite classy um, and I don't think it looks too see-through um, maybe more so from the side but I guess I could always wear a slip with it underneath um, and I probably wouldn't wear these shoes either I've just got these on for trying the dresses on I'd probably wear black shoes with this but yeah I think I like this one this is next and um, again it's a wrap style it's a sort of peachy colour with like rose gold sequins or coppery coloured sequins and um, again this would, or this would be for one of the very formal nights um, or the more formal nights I'm very hot very hot trying on clothes is hot work um, I've got a feeling this is going to be too long again um, like that other full length dress but I quite like it I like the open front and um, if it's long enough and doesn't expose my knickers that would be a good start at least wouldn't it <laughs> getting this on was a struggle and a half and I haven't been able to get it on properly because it's got a side zip and I can't quite get the angle to do it up but I think I love it um hang on let me pop you around look there and move back it's ra ignore this bit this is where the side zip is and I can't get it done up um, just because of the angle not but I think it will do up um, but I love this KP top bit although it's too long at the back only by a couple of inches or even just an inch it doesn't really matter because it's not too long at the front it's almost like it's part of the style it's got this crossover bit and I just feel really nice in this I really think it's flattering it's not I was worried that it would be too frilly and flouncy for my figure and make me look short and squat and I don't think it does um, obviously I will need to check that the zip does up when I have somebody other than the builder to do it up this last one on this in this par parcel is a bit of a wild card it's strappy so I would want to wear something over the top of it either a shawl or a little bolero something like that um, I just love the colour the midnight blue it's long so again it might drown me and again it might be too long I'm thinking it might be too long but um, I just wanted to try this as it's a different style and I quite like the cut with it gathering under the bust and coming out from there I thought that might be quite slimming so um, yeah let's give this one a go okay I can't get the zip done up at the back at all but so I'm probably not giving it a fair go but as soon as I put it on I thought not that I can't get the zip up because it doesn't fit it I just can't get the zip up because I can't do the back myself and I'm worried that if I get it halfway up I'm not going to be able to undo it which would be slightly awkward because I'd have to go wandering through the house ask the builder in an evening dress in the middle of the day on an average Monday in Devon and that would be awkward wouldn't it just would be awkward <laughs> so anyway um soon as I put it on I thought it's too muttony excuse the bra straps again it's got this sort of halter neck strap and then this other strap which sort of sits next to it um which you can't see because it's falling off me at the back but again same issue as the previous long dress it's way too long um the lining is would jump in fact no the lining wouldn't even work and it's just it's just way too long I don't hate it but I just feel very muttony with my shoulders out and everything and I think this one's quite an expensive dress so to have to then find something to go over the top of it and to have it shortened would probably I don't love it enough for that is what I'm saying it just obviously it would look better if it was done up at the back but yeah I think I'm um, too old and a little bit too overweight for such a strappy look but I love the sequins and sparkles and I love the colour I think it's a really pretty dress and on someone a little bit younger than me you'd feel beautiful wouldn't you it's like a ball gown type of thing but so from this package there are two definite no's this one and the first grey one although I like the grey one it was too long and didn't like it nearly as much as the other the really cheap boohoo one I think was my favourite I felt lovely in that and that is a dress that I could wear on the cruise and also wear on holiday in the summer 
I think that's a really versatile 20 quid dress so I love it from that point of view and um, the copper sequined coloured dress I really liked myself in that I do need to when Ashley gets home try it on again and make sure that the zip does up at the side um, and then the black dress that one I quite liked it was the long sleeves that I wasn't that keen on anyway you know what I think let me know what you think um also let me know if you want me to do a video of the I'm actually I'm going to do the video of try on anyway because you you guys seem to like the try on hauls so um yes when the next parcel comes I will do a video of that one as well and thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye bye